Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to be looking into your situation, what your person's feeling, thinking, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. In the last reading I did, I got someone, I got that you and your person have like warrior souls, basically you've been through like rebellions, um, a lot of, of chaos, a lot of trauma, a lot of just rebellions and whatnot in your past lives. Um, just very strong warrior spirits could be tied to like Norse uh, Viking past lives as well. You know, might be drawn to like the goddess Frigg here. I got like a very, just a very old ancient past life connection, but there was some trauma um, carrying over into this lifetime because you're so used to everything being a battle. You're so used to being in rebellions. Um, I sense some like Irish, Scottish kind of rebellions too could even be some stuff going on in the 20s for some of you. I'm not sure what that's about, but something about the 20s um, or having a life in the 20s here. Um, but you, but yeah, you're just, you're so used to, to things just being chaotic. You're so used to, you have this, this like a past life soul contract of like war and rebellion and chaos and revolution. And um, so it's hard for you guys to relax this lifetime. And there might be some past life trauma because either you died early on or they died early on in a past life. Um, so, that, so the past lives are still affecting you guys. But it, it's a very ancient, very beautiful, very, very deep, um, pure soul connection that we have here. That's what I was getting for the last reading. So let's see what else we can get today. This was a new love coming in. Or it could be someone from the someone coming back around. But... But yeah, it's really good energy. Let's see, what can we tell, what can you tell us about this story? We need to know. I'm gonna pull three from that deck. And some from this deck too. So if I can just manage not to light them on fire. <laughs> I guess these all wanted to come out, okay. These things are so cute, but they're so hard to shuffle. Right, I guess we're taking eight. Trapped, blocked, tied up. Reconciliation, confusion, and uncertainty. Come on. Oh, come on. I've got black, blocked. Oh my god. I'm gonna put this over here. That's too much. <laughs> Yeah, the past life trauma is coming up again for this reading. So for some of you, it's like this cord needs to be cut. Like you see her, she's blind to the cord. It's like there's this cord. It could be a person. It could be a soul contract that you guys are repeating. Um, whatever it might be, it's like there's these like toxic red cords astrally telepathically that you're like blind to. Like they're right in front of you. Maybe the patterns are really clear to others but not clear to you if that makes sense but it's like there's this red thread right in front of you and it's been keeping you blocked and this thread needs to be cut whatever it might be whatever it could be a third party situation but whatever it is it's like it needs to be cut I think if you're if this is with your person I think that reconciliation is going to be happening fast after you cut these cords and clear the energy up um, I do sense the past life trauma there, though, because we still have, so we have, you know, you cutting these cords, and then we have, like, reconciliation happening, but then we have confusion and uncertainty, so it's almost like there's still some trauma to be healed, like, I just still get the sense that it's like, one of you died in your past lives, like, you died early on, and it's still, that trauma is still affecting you, and so it's like, there's, like, confusion and, like, fear, like one or one or both of you is just so terrified of getting hurt in this connection and the reason you're so terrified of getting hurt is because you guys are very old souls and you've been together in your past lives and so you're really afraid of that trauma and that pain again like somebody i hate to get dark but i i almost feel like it's like a very beautiful but very like bittersweet love story I feel here. I hate to get dark, but I feel like someone died and the other person killed themselves after that happened. Like I think someone died in like battle or you died like in some kind of rebellion. 
something with like government like if you're drawn to politics again that's kind of why that's part of it's part of your the soul contract it's part of the patterns that you've been repeating throughout your lives um and again remember this it's either your story or it isn't if it's not resonating then it's not your story but if it is resonating then it's your story you know what i mean so so take what resonates leave what doesn't but um but yeah, I feel like in your past lives, one of you like one of you died kind of violently and tragically, and the other one, it's like you guys were just like soulmates or twin flames, and they couldn't imagine their life without you, or you couldn't imagine your life without them, um, whatever this case might have been, and and you committed suicide because of it. And there's um, trauma from that that's spilling over into this lifetime. It's like if you if you just met this person, or you're like about to meet this person, or maybe this is someone that you already know. Um, it's like you have one or both of you has this like overwhelming fear, and it's like you're the other person. And again, it could be you or it could be them. You'll you'll know what your story is, but like the other person is not understanding why this other person has so much fear you're like what like you don't even know me yet like we're just getting to know each other like yes it's deep but like why are you so scared of everything and it's like they're scared because they remember that trauma of losing you that pain hit them on a soul level like they never recovered from that um so it's it's there's some energy here of like getting getting past the fear you know what i mean it's 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 a beautiful connection though like you guys are very you have a very deep very strong almost like a romeo and juliet type of love here is kind of what i get like it's a very very romantic very emotional connection is that i what, what i get here we've got resurrection reprise recovery comeback we have call for help reach out need for backup and admit, admit your needs eternal youth energy newness and vitality Seduction, allure, desire, manipulation, transmission, spreading of conditions, influence, and impact. Look how cute they are. I love them. I just got this deck. I love them. Um, the last day in the light, or her last day in the light. Unexpected. See, look at that's crazy. I haven't even seen this card yet because I just got this deck. Her last day in the light, unexpected ending, surprise changes, sudden shift. So it's her last day in the light. Like think about those keywords, her last day in the light. Like it's like emphasizing, and it could be a connection to birds here as well, but it's like emphasizing um, kind of the past life stuff we were talking about, like your, you know, that death that just caught them off guard. We've got creator, catalyst, maker, mother, father, and hope, anticipation, bright prospects, and wish. So I'm going to read these out to you. I'm going to look at these and, and interpret them. Um, okay, so for... Let's see what it's trying to tell me here. It's like emotional. Like I almost feel like crying reading this. But I think if your person is just like... Like if you just met this person or it's like someone that you've had like a history with, but they're like terrified of you hurting them. And you're like, why the fuck are you so scared? Like I've never done anything to hurt you. It's like they remember the trauma or it could be vice versa. It could be you. You're you're terrified of getting hurt and you don't understand why you're so, so scared of losing this person. It's because you lost them before. Um, what is this word over here? Impact. OK. OK, I sense a couple of different stories here, because remember with these readings, there's like energy groups. So it, it's your story, but there is. There are other people watching, too, that it's going to resonate with. And, like, I have to tell their story, too. So there's two separate stories here. Um, one of them is that your person wasn't there for you. Like, we have, like, recovery come back. So it's, like, this could be, like, rebellion, like, resurrection. Like, things were going well. And, you know, we have call for help here. So it's, like, you called out for their help. And they weren't there you could even have like so it's either you or them so you'll know who's who but it's like if it's you then it's like you have like abandonment issues almost because of that because it's like you guys got through so much together and i don't know if they were just like maybe somewhere else at the time like if there was like a rebellion it would make sense that maybe they had something else they had to do while you were doing that it's like because you guys were both you were coming at it from all angles and so they called like you you called to them for help and 
they just they weren't there for you when you died like they didn't they just found out about your death like they were you were supposed to meet up later and then they found out you died or something tragic like that like and they were very like protective of you and so they they thought you were going to be okay and you weren't and so they feel guilt they feel guilt from from not being there when you needed them to protect you um and they feel just like regret and pain from that and that that soul contract that pain is is carrying over into this lifetime um and you could have abandonment issues because of it too because it's like you were terrified and you needed them there and they weren't there even though it wasn't their fault i don't think they like left you or anything i think they just had somewhere else they had to be and you had to be there at that time you know what i mean i think it was kind of like a quick unexpected death we have impact here i was really drawn to that word so like impact like being shot being stabbed being killed like in war rebellion kind of like a violent impact um so their guilt and then your abandonment issues probably stem from these partly from these past lives um, this this past life contracts, this past life patterns could even have repeated in your childhood because you're still repeating those patterns. And again, it could be vice versa. It could be the other way around. It could be that you weren't there and you feel guilt because you weren't there and they died. And now they have abandonment issues. So it could either either way. The second story I'm getting here is for some of you. There is a karmic involved. For those of you in like a third party situation, there's like a dark manipulative karmic that keeps following you around lifetime after lifetime, um, either on your side or, or his or her side. But they like seduce this person, like convince them. It was like, oh, like a new fresh kind of energy. Like I have your back. I'm going to be here. Um, tried to influence them and seduce them. And they lured them or they lured you into a trap like they did something to separate you guys and then one of you ended up dying and that that could also be repeating if you're having difficulty in like a third party situation like your person's karmic is just like you hated him or her right off the bat like you just felt toxic it's because this past life history you all have with each other um I think the cards are just, I mean, I know this isn't like a typical reading. Usually in my readings, I give more advice. I'm like, I try to, you know, tell you guys like, oh, this, your person feels this or your person feels that. I think this is, the cards want to give you an in-depth look into your patterns and also into your person's patterns so that you understand where the fear is coming from on one or both ends. They want you to understand the fear. They want you to understand the soul contracts and the patterns you've been repeating this lifetime. Um... And I do want to say, I, I can help you guys with a candle spell. Like, I can tell you guys how to do it for those of you that are comfortable doing witchcraft. You know, you do need to protect yourself. You do need to cleanse your space. You do need to do this in a good environment. But if you're interested, just comment below and I'll tell you how to do. I have a, a, a candle spell that, I've, that I'll tell you how to do. You'll just need, like, a brown candle. You need some oil and you need some black walnut. And I'll tell you, I'll give you instructions. For those of you that are interested, just comment below and I'll give you instructions on how you can do the spell at home. And you can do this to end old soul contracts that are no longer serving you. Because sometimes we do have soul contracts that just keep repeating. And we have to break them, you know what I mean? Like sometimes the soul contract, it's like we've already honored it, but we have, we're so used to having to be in that energy that it's like we keep repeating it when we don't have to. You know, it's like, this soul contract has ended for you guys already. Like, you're clear. You're good. You've, you've paid your dues. Like, you've been through enough from war and rebellion already. But you're so used to having that in your past lives that you're repeating that in this lifetime. That you're still thinking everything has to be a battle. You're thinking everything has to be a struggle. You're still thinking you have to lead some sort of rebellion that you, that you can't just have a simple, quiet life, you know? You're still in that energy. So if you want to end the soul contract, just comment below and I'll give you instructions on how to do the spell at home. Just make sure you're in a good environment when you do the spell. That's all I have to say about, I mean, just, just make sure you're safe. You know what I mean? Make sure you got to be careful with witchcraft is you have to make sure that you use salt and you protect the spell and you're, you're in a good environment where, where your energy is just clear to do the spell. Um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend doing it to end old soul contracts so you don't keep repeating these patterns anymore. And also really recognizing these patterns and clearing them up and healing from them 
and not allowing them to repeat in your life anymore. It takes a lot of conscious effort and intention to do this. It could also be that you or your person was manipulated by the cause where it was like just new fresh energy. Like someone came to you like, oh, we need you to lead this rebellion or we need you to um, be part of this. And it's like, you kind of went out on your own and did it like you were like manipulated into like being seduced into into um this battle or whatever this might have been and then there was just like this impact this impact yeah like physical impact and then the last thing in the light unexpected ending surprise changes sudden shifts um we have creator catalyst maker mother father hope anticipation bright prospects wish i think it's almost saying that you were you were a very important person in history actually or, or you played an important role in some kind of famous rebellion could be scottish or irish for some of you um i sense like political like a political rebellion i feel like something in the 20s what happened in the 20s was that here was that in ireland or was that here I mean, you've been in several battles throughout your lives. It's not just one life, but there's one particular life that I want to say took place in the 20s or 30s that's standing out to me. And you were creator. You were a catalyst for change. Whatever you did was very, very... Whatever you did, like you were like a martyr. You, were, you Whatever you did was very heroic, very brave, maybe even some self-sacrifice. And that could be a soul contract you have to break as well is, is thinking that you have to sacrifice yourself again this lifetime, thinking that you have to put everyone else's needs before your above your own, you know, thinking that you have that your life has to be about service and about self-sacrifice and b b battling, you know, it's like you cut that soul contract out so you can have a quiet, peaceful life. Like, I think that you don't even... I feel like you want to have a peaceful, quiet life, but you don't even know what that looks like. Like you've never, you haven't had that in your past lives. I mean, you've had this deep love, this very supportive, very strong, strong power couple kind of relationship. And that's that lover that's coming back in or that's already here. Um, you might already know who this is or it's someone that, that's coming back around. But again, just prepare for the fear on both ends because of what you guys have been through together and, and clear those soul contracts out be mindful of the patterns don't repeat them you know be conscious of of getting past this this soul contract of um survival and battle and war and life having to be a struggle and having to sacrifice yourself for the benefit of others and and not being able to put your happiness first and just you know not being able to have a peaceful quiet life it's like you don't have to do anything right now just just go easy on yourself like you're so hard on yourself just go easy on yourself you can watch TV or read or just chill all day today. There's nothing that you have to do. This could come out in work too is overworking, just working, working, working. And it's like, relax, go easy on yourself. But you did, I will say, be proud of yourself because in, in your past life, you did something pretty heroic and amazing. Like you created change. You were like a catalyst for some kind of political movement or something. Like you just really created change parents could be involved in this somehow too mother and father like you made you created something you're just your creator and it gave the future gener generations hope like you set the way for others i mean i'm not saying it's just you i mean, it was probably like a group of people like a rebellion that that did this um look into ireland scotland in the 20s i don't know what was going something something in the 20s in ireland and scotland i don't know what was going on there but there could that could be tied to this um but yeah, you paved the way for future generations. You gave hope to future generations with your heroic acts. So be proud of yourself for that. And and again, just, yeah, be mindful. This is the cards. Your guys wanted to explain why the fear is here. They wanted to explain the, the issues that are repeating. They wanted to make you more conscious of these patterns so that you can work to release them. So thank you for watching. It's 1222 right now, too. Um, and if you'd like a private reading, just contact me. My email is below. And if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe.